All right, good morning. It's another beautiful day in paradise. It's uh, almost six o'clock. Six o'clock in the morning on Friday, May 8th. And as you can see from this, hopefully you can see this uh, temperature reading here. It's 31 degrees Celsius outside here. This is where I'm at. It's probably cooler in other spots, but I'm on the top uh, in the little balcony. It's 70% humidity, uh, so pretty humid. But that's okay. That's just the way it is in the tropics. And we won't have it any other way. I'm in Bataan, Philippines. And I'll let you enjoy some of the local local color here. As they say, as the, this little town, sleepy town, starts to wake up. You see the roosters crow in the background, the birds chirping. And a lot of the motorists are heading their way your destination, whether it's work or whether it's errands or other others, uh, other places that they need to be. But I'd uh, record this uh, because I was I was having uh, I was having some thoughts on travel tips yesterday. In fact, I recorded some some tips via video. But in addition, even prior to that. We had a meeting at work where somebody suggested some travel tips, you know, whether you're traveling to the tropics or other places in the world, or just general, you know, travel hacks, I want to say. Um, and a lot of people have their own way of packing, for instance. Uh, they call it, I think, the 54321 system, like five, five underwear. Uh, T-shirts or something like that. Anyway, um, you probably have your own you know, strategies and tips on how to pack. Um, I thought I'd, uh, I'd also include some little cook clock uh, going on in the background. Um, I thought I'd uh, mention some here so that way I myself can look back and listen to this and, and recall that uh, I had this. So the first step is to um, so I'm, I'm going to divide this into pre-flight, and then during the flight, and then post-flight. So a couple of tips. And the first one is pre-flight. Oops, beautiful bird here listening to me. You can see him, but he's got a huge, huge bellow. It's right on the tree branch up there. Uh, I'll be listening to my tips as well. There he goes. So the first tip is... Um, download the airline app that you're flying with. It's, in fact, I, I flew into Via Delta this time, but in previous years I've done Japan Airlines. I've done now uh, ANA. Uh, so, you know, some of these travel apps are the most current and accurate information that you can get on your flight. From delays to layover information, other important so that's pre-flight and pre-flight as well also uh, when you're packing your bag um, I, I, I tend to roll my clothes so I roll my clothes to minimize wrinkles you know, your hotel this the, the destination on your own if you're staying at a hotel might have an iron but to me that's just um, you know that's just an extra step and it's just a hassle and, and taking away your time to enjoy where you're at and start enjoying your vacation instead of ironing your clothes in the hotel room. And uh, also, if you're able to pack a couple of wooden hangers, uh, and this I've found through my travels that uh, you know hotel rooms or even Airbnbs uh, they lack um, adequate hangers, and uh, you know they, they might have a pretty decent closet closet space or closet closet area but you won't have enough hangers so if, if, if your luggage will allow it and uh, number three um, you know of course you're gonna have some dirty clothes right so another another person in our team suggested this so make sure that you pack some kind of a, a dirty laundry kind of bag or something like that so that way you can uh, you can put that in and separate that from the clean clothes that you're going to be bringing and uh, and uh, let's see so that's that's a couple of the pre-flight so during the flight um, 
uh, you, you know, Wi-Fi is very expensive and very slow on the airplane. So the first thing I would do is I would make sure that you have, you know, if you, if you have a smartphone, most people have smartphones these days, and I do as well. You know, if you have, you have, your, have, your, you have your headphones or maybe you have a wireless headset, to make sure that you download your uh, you know, favorite music or, or things of that nature. Because, you know, although the, during the flight, they're going to announce that you're going to put your <clears throat> phone in airplane mode. That would be not to distract the uh, electronics in the plane. I don't know about any, any evidence of, it, of any phones distracting electronics on the plane, but, but that's what the airlines want. So they, you have to shut, the, shut, shut your phone down and put, or put your your, your smartphone airplane mode. You can at least enjoy your music via your, uh, you know, your downloads and streaming. And uh, also the the neck pillows. The neck pillows uh, work for some people. They, they, they don't work for me. But it doesn't really help me sleep unless they invented another uh, sort of neck pillow that would allow you to sleep much better on the plane sitting down than uh, I'm not a big fan of neck pillows. In fact, I've seen those neck pillows that had been left uh, at uh, the, the, you know, the, the gates or, or the seating areas where some of them have just maybe abandoned them or, or inadvertently dropped them. They're just kind of clunky. And, and, then, um, and then also the aisle seats. Uh, of course, aisle seats are high and high in demand, especially for old guys like me. I'm, I admit I'm not young anymore. I'm, I'm pulling 60 here. So um, if you get an aisle seat, it's just a lot less hassle to access the the, uh, the restrooms. And God forbid if something were to happen, maybe you can you know uh, make a beeline to the exit exit uh, doors much better if you have an aisle seat. Um, so those are some of the in-flight tips that I can uh, show you. Here. In the post-flight, of course, um, in, in my case, I traveled to Southeast Asia, and uh, you, you may want to download before you leave the local Uber app, or in my case here, uh, we they have a Grab application, G-R-A-B, Green Roger Adam Bravo, Grab. So they go from taxis to food delivery service to to other personal care that you might need. Um, and uh, it's, it's just convenient when you get to the airport, you're going to be really, really tired and you're not going to think clearly. And I've made this mistake before, taxi cab or cabbies or cabbies are going to make a lot of money, so they're only going to take it for every cent that they can. Um, I've had years where <clears throat> a cabbie had run, run around the, uh, the hotel a couple of times so that way they can, um, you know, Get more clicks or kilometers on their, on their, on their um, meter so that they can charge you more. So just this just a tip on post flight to do that. And then on the um, <clears throat> when you go to customs, um, make sure that you, whatever, if any, I mean, there are not many countries now have uh, uh, ruled out or, or eliminated the vaccination requirements, but uh, some still do, and some still I'll ask you to provide proof of your vaccination. Uh, make sure you get a, keep a copy in your, um, <clears throat> in your smartphone or, or, or your, your passport. Um, and, uh, and lastly, um, I'm going to end this here. Uh, make sure to always, always, always keep your passport on your person. Uh, you know, once you get to the hotel room, uh, you may want to leave your you know, backpack or something like that to lighten your load when you go around. Um, your local destination, enjoy the sights and sounds and local color, enjoy the beauty and, and um, you know like in this case look at this, this lush greenery, I want to go for a walk here, it's, it's early in the morning. Always keep your passport on your person because you never know, um, might break in, might take, I mean, they can take anything else, you know, money and all that, but pa passports are really a hassle to replace and it could be a, it could be a nightmare, so, all right, sir. Uh, that is all I have today, and uh, I'm kind of hoping I myself will remember these tips, but uh, it's still you know, kind of cool down here, 30 degrees, 75% humidity, it's about, uh, been rambling on here for about 10 minutes, so have a great day wherever you are, and uh, travel if you can.